What's up, Fox and Fox here? And originally, this video was going to be about a benchmark of bringing in a 3080 to play with my Dell XPS 13 Plus. So I got a Thunderbolt dock, updated the drivers, and I was off to the races. At first, everything was fine. In fact, Doom Eternal ran very well at the max settings at 4K. It had an average frame rate of 80 with a 1% low of 46 and a 0.1% low of 20. So it obviously wasn't as much as a 3080 on its own, but it is a Thunderbolt 3 dock. And it wasn't the CPU that was causing the issues. The CPU was sitting back because it is just an absolute beast of a CPU. And I played it for a good 10, 15 minutes with no issues whatsoever to benchmark and record it. So I decided to throw something very modern at it because that's usually what I do with my gaming benchmarks is try and play the most modern games, whether it be on old hardware or new hardware. And I did Halo Infinite at 4K with the low settings, which is, I guess, what I usually played on because that was a preset. And I got an average of 57 FPS with a 1% low of zero and a 0.1% low of zero. So... It wasn't even 56.7 FPS on average. It was more like 60, but because there was just a massive throttle backwards, it just completely destroyed the benchmark. And I was wondering what it was, and I was so glad that I had MSI Afterburner on because the CPU wasn't even getting hot, at least not with what MSI is, was reading. But it was also sitting back at the same time. It was maybe 40, 50 percent, depending on where you were. And yet all of a sudden it goes from two gigahertz, which is the base clock. And I expect that on a CPU and a chassis this small, I completely expect it to not be at boost clock all the time. What I didn't expect was for it to throttle down to 0.8 gigahertz. It was running at 800 megahertz with a 3080. No wonder everything just started to go wrong and I have no idea what the issue is. So if y'all have had similar issues in the past with different Dell XPS models, or if you have it on this model, let me know because pff, that what's crazy to me is that it wasn't even thermal throttling. It got hot, and I think actually on Halo Infinite, it kind of showed signs of thermal throttling. I saw it get up to 100, which is their max limit. Um, but I also played Valorant at 4K with the highest settings, which I think is to be expected with a 3080. And I got an average frame rate of 72, very good. But once again, and this time even faster, it ended up going down to 1% low of 0.1 FPS and a 0.1% low of 0.1 FPS. So again, I had the exact same thing, but this time when it clocked down to 0.8, it was only at 80 degrees which is just mind boggling to me. You have 20 degrees of extra leeway and I understand if they have to clock it down a little bit here and there, but I do not expect one that has a boost of, I think 4.5 or 4.7 gigahertz to go all the way down to 800 megahertz. I mean, you're talking like Intel core two duos having better gigahertz than that. And yes, I understand that gigahertz doesn't matter all the time. And then I'm saying it about 400 times in one sentence, but in this case, it's obvious that that was the issue. When you're talking about a 12 core 16 thread chip that's just the top of the line, not thermally throttling, at least visibly on MSI Afterburner, I'm just curious what the problem is because I tested this exact same chassis, the Thunderbolt 3 case, to make sure it wasn't any issues with the Samsung uh, Book 2 Pro 360. No issues whatsoever, works perfectly fine with it. and. I don't get it. It even has a weaker CPU. It's got the 1260p compared to the 1280p. So if you have any insight, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I understand this sounds like overheating and I am kind of like I'm like 50 percent sure that's it. Um, and like 20 percent sure on one thing, 20 percent sure, 10 percent sure, that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm going to keep diagnosing the issue. But I just want to know, because I know that I have some Dell XPS users here, the Dell XPS 13 Plus users. If you were to run, say, Cinebench three times in a row, does it do what Mayan does, where it'll go from 10,000 to 8,000 to 6,000? Which, granted, I understand, again, thermal constraints will stop boost clocks from lasting very long, but it should not drop down to 60% of what it normally is at. So... Let me know in the comments down below if you have any sort of advice, if you think something's wrong with it, or if this is just how the Dell XPS 13 Plus uh, reacts. I have the 4K OLED version, 1280p, 16 gigs of RAM, which I understand people are usually got on the 32. 16 is fine for gaming. 
and I just have no idea what's wrong with it or if anything is wrong with it. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you can help me out in any way in the comments down below, let me know. Uh, I will be doing stuff in the background. Don't think that I'm just relying on the comments for help. I'm obviously going to be working on the back end for this. Um, I'm going to continue doing tests and see if it's an issue on my end, if it's an issue on Dell's end. Um, and obviously contacting support is something to be considered in the future. And we'll just see how things play out from here. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, like, subscribe, do what you usually do. And as always, buy yourself something nice.